So here we are. The whole patio flooded now. All that water in the rocks. Really just flooded out here and flooded out right there and, and you can see by the line how far it's come up into there. You can even on the camera you can kinda see the water line where it just kinda meets where it separates standing water from just wet concrete and then right there in the foam so that's how far it ro rode up under the concrete and something that's really rare is this little part right in here hardly ever ever gets wet uh, it floods over there it floods over there but no water comes directly to here so it takes a lot of water on both sides to get it to flood up right here, and that's just a tribute to how much rain we've gotten today. And the sun's moon clouds are thinning, trying to get sunlight's trying to shine through here, and it's not pretty light now. We're probably just back in the light green now, which is good because I'm kind of cold, and and unless anything else happens, this will probably be pretty short, and this might be the last part of today's rain shower. So, uh, pretty calm now, and, uh, water puddled in the street and all that right there later today after um it dries up a little bit if, if it does dry up I don't know we might see that that's kind of looking vaguely wet this is west right here not just west northwest and there's more clouds back in there so we might get more rain still but other than that there's a little 360 for ya. Other than that, if we don't get more rain, soon I'll go out to that park and if I see anything really significant, like any really significant flooding, I'll, I'll take pics for ya there. Mm. It's not raining at all, because it's gotta be not raining at all, though, because I'd, I'd have to care. I don't have a pocket in these pajamas. Well, actually, I'd probably put pants on anyway. But. It's kind of hard and difficult to hold an umbrella, and it'd be better to have the have the camera on the bike, and I gotta hold it with one hand. And if I'm holding an umbrella, I gotta hold the umbrella with my other hand, and then that leaves this to not be on the bike, and then it shakes all over the place. Mm. So anyway. And I didn't look at the clock to see what time I started filming part two, but this whole thing has been less than an hour. All this rain is just less than an hour. But no thunder. There's a um a, a roll of thunder before it before it started to rain at all, and b before I had my camera on. But that was it. Not a whole lot to do except just show you around. I guess I could walk to some of the other cul de sacs and see if there's well, anything on the cul de sac. Actually, what I can do is I'll show you um, the dirt lot right here. There's, um, there's over there, kind of, the road kind of goes up, and it goes on one side, but, and it kind of goes all the way around, but in the middle of it, is this low area and uh, I'm gonna go see how much water's in that that'll be something to show ya and I'm wearing sandals but so I don't need to worry about the mud so, uh, Look at all the water coming down right there and puddling up 
And we're all just kind of going into the little gully here. I mean, I like the way that smooths. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. And then into the drain there. So I'll come, come up here. And we'll show you the... Uh, still raining lightly here. It hasn't stopped yet. And, uh... Yep, that's a lot. That's a lot. There's that's what it looks like, and then there's the all go down there, and it kind of comes down level. So um, see so you crossing it, the road down, the little trail down there. So, but there's more water on the other side too. And uh, yep, there he is. There it all is. And uh. So, and then one of the, and then that's all the gullies that feed down there, and that's how most of that water gets there. Is is mostly runoff. Uh, yeah, not much comes from that direction. So it all, mostly it's just all water coming out of that pipe, coming down the hill and, and into the reservoir. Well, anyway. Ooh. And my hands get tired of holding that umbrella, I need to just switch hands. And then there's the cul-de-sac, and you can't see my house from here. It is behind that white trailer, and it's just off in the background there. And this is where it gets a little tricky because it kind of it's really steep. Got to try not to slip. Actually, I think. Actually, I think when it's dry and sandy, it's more slippery to then. Being it wet, it just all holds together and it gives you some traction, but it doesn't really give way. So, uh... So a lot of water all comes over here. And car coming. I'll just kind of take a pick down here and then I'll head home. I don't know if there's, I don't know what's all down there. Yeah, that's another street. No, I don't look to be much down there. Well, there's farther down there, but I'm not going in on foot, so, uh, I guess I'll walk back home. Look at that, it all comes down the street. They need to have a few more farther up there. Not just that one down there. So, uh, but then it ends. So, uh, thanks for watching. This is so that concludes the the rain in St. George, Utah video. Thanks for watching. More rain thunderstorm videos to come. Bye.